What's up, OCC gang? I am in Universal Orlando. I've actually been here a couple days. I think I was here Wednesday, and then today is Monday, so I've actually been here a while. I don't know what day it'll be by the time you guys see this, but I'll probably still be here. Um, and you'll find out why really soon, but the one thing I'm definitely gonna do while I'm in Universal Orlando, I'm definitely going to, let's see, get something to eat. That's the one thing I haven't had a chance to do is just stop and just eat like tons of food. So that's one thing that I'm really looking forward to. There's the Hard Rock Cafe across from me. There is, they have a donut place. I'm, there's so much stuff to eat out here. I don't even know where I will go. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm going to use a Fetch Rewards gift card, okay? So <laughs> I'm definitely gonna open my Fetch Rewards app and redeem for a gift card to pay for my meal. And I do that a lot. Like when I'm going somewhere and I'm eating, I'm always using Fetch Rewards to like pay for my meal because it's so easy to get free gift cards. So if you haven't signed up for Fetch Rewards, let me show you exactly how this works and what you need to do to start eating for free shopping for free it's so easy Woo yeah having a blast I really need to stop and get food though okay so I'm going to Bubba Gump's because I've never been here before and I see a gift card for this place on the Fetch Rewards app so this is my appetizer I got like shrimp mac and cheese so I hope this is good so I decided to get crab legs because I felt like I wanted to do one of those seafood boils that like every YouTuber does except for me. So I was like, listen, this is not like a Bee Loves Life type of thing going on right now, but at least I have two little clusters to try. Deja got a shrimp po' boy and it looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and eat and then I'm going to pay with my Fetch Rewards gift card. Hey. <laughs> I'm thinking while we're here, I'm happy. Deja, you dancing? Do it with me. You gotta do what I'm doing. You gotta shimmy. Shimmy. Shimmy, other side. Other side. <laughs> I'm thinking while we're here, since I'm eating, we should talk about Black Friday deals. So, like, where are we going for Black Friday? Um, Walmart, definitely. Maybe Target. Maybe. I don't know. Like, where do y'all wanna go for Black Friday? Let's look. You know what? Let's look at some Black Friday ads. Hold on, y'all. I gotta dip this crap leg. Now I see, like, when people be doing mukbangs, mukbangs, how do you say it? When people do those, I'm always like, how do they talk and eat? I don't get it because I want to eat so bad that I'm like, I'm trying so hard to get the crab meat out of here. Oh my gosh. But we should, we should totally look at Black Friday ads. Let's do it. So before we get into the Black Friday ad, let me first tell you how I paid for my meal with Fetch Rewards. It was so easy. Basically, Fetch Rewards is an app that lets you scan any grocery receipt. We all go to the grocery store and we get the receipts, right? So instead of throwing them away, you just scan them with this app and you get points. And those points earn you free gift cards. It's that easy. There's nothing to buy. All you have to do is scan your grocery receipt and you were going to do that anyway. Now, it doesn't have to be any specific brand, but when you use the brands that I've just showing you on the screen you get bonus points now if you want to scan your receipt just click this scan icon that you see there and you just line up your receipt in the margins that will come up on your screen and you just take that picture on the app and then you go right to the gift card section and see if you're eligible for any gift cards and let me tell you the options are endless on this app I chose to use my Bubba Gump's gift card and I was really glad that I did Okay, so breaking news. Guys, while I was recording this, Fetch Rewards contacted me and let me know that for the next 72 hours, they are willing to give you $4 in Fetch Rewards points. So that's enough for you to get a gift card right now. All they want you to do is sign up and use the code that you see right now on your screen and you have enough to go get a gift card. You can get an Amazon gift card, a Panera gift card, a Target gift card. All you have to do is scan your first receipt on the Fetch Rewards app. Thank you, Fetch Rewards. So I'm looking at page one of the Walmart Black Friday ad and already I'm like, whoa, this is gonna be hot. Like one of the first things that I noticed was the AirPods situation going on. $129 for AirPods. Now that's a $15 savings, which I think is pretty good. And then also I'm seeing 40 inch TVs for $98. That's a definite yes. And a 50 inch for $148. 
definitely good TVs, especially for kids' rooms. And did you see that Apple Watch for $129? So like, I'm all over this ad right now because there's some really good things on this first page. Now, I don't know what stores we're all thinking we're gonna go to on Black Friday, but Walmart definitely is showing us some good stuff and it's saying that it will be available online Wednesday, 11:27 at 10 p.m. So that's a great time to actually start looking into like, what am I gonna get? Am I gonna shop online or am I gonna shop in the store? So just getting into the whole essence of Black Friday, you need a game plan. What store are you going to? And let's just explore Walmart and see what they have to offer. Now on this second page, right away they jump into an iPhone 6 for $99. Come on, that's a decent price. Especially if you have a young person that you don't trust with the super expensive phone. And look at this Disney Frozen Castle for $40. That looks like that's gonna be a really great buy. There's some other things on here. I was looking at that hoverboard. There's a hoverboard for $89. And then there's some other things. PS for bundle for $199 which is usually standard around the holidays but all in all I think these prices are showing us that Walmart did not come to play with nobody Walmart is not playing and yes I'm clapping right now they are not playing for Black Friday they are bringing some hot deals now let's look on this next page we see already. I like what they did with this find your deals faster. I like that color coded map right there. They're telling you where to go and where you're gonna find everything. Now look, I'm liking these projector deals. $49 for a projector, that's a pretty solid deal. And if you look at the TV, $189 for a TV, that's a good price. I don't care what nobody says. That is a good price. That's definitely a yes for me. I would do that because look at the size on these TVs that these offers that they're having. Look at the sizes on these TVs, guys. You really can't beat that. 198 for a 58 inch, a 65 inch for three. Wow. Now check this out. This one I'm really excited about because check this out. $89 for Beats by Dre. All the young people want these. The old people want them too, y'all. I'm somewhere in the middle and I want me some. So $89 for those. And if you can't afford it, AirPods, check this out. $34 for kind of like the J-Lab, J-Buds. And then you have the $15 ones at the bottom. Yes, they're off brand, but you have to do what you can do. You have to do what you can afford. And the Classic Beats, only $129. So I'm getting my game plan together because I'm all over these prices, y'all. And I'm going fast because there's so much to cover. Walmart is doing it. Now check this out. You can get a Google Home Mini for only $19. And security, we all need security. But what I'm looking at on this side is these LED strips or color bulbs because I don't know if you guys are into TikTok or if you're really into what like the teenagers are doing, but they are so into strip lights. And these are smart Wi-Fi LED strip. They like strip lights and they like LED bulbs and all that kind of stuff. So kind of hint around with your kids and ask do they want something like that. Now, Fortnite, we know they put Fortnite on the advertisement because kids are so into games right now, especially Fortnite. Now, gaming bundles, gaming computers for $4.99, that's a decent price because let's face it, all this gaming stuff is expensive. But tablets, let's look down here at the tablets. Wow, guys, we got to work on this for a second. $59 for the Android tablet and keyboard mix. That is a bomb price. Now the Samsung Galaxy Tab, it's around 149, so that's the price we we're expecting. But $28, if that's all you can afford, that's a good starter tablet for a smaller kid. So I'm all over that $28 tablet. Now let's talk about these laptops. 149 for a laptop, it seems like it has a decent amount of storage, especially for a younger person that's only using it for work. But we gotta look at this $99 Chromebook and these printers. $59, $39, and $19 for a printer. You cannot pass that up. If you need a printer, especially for a student, $19 is a good price. Or even just for printing your coupons, I think that's a good price. But $99 for this Chromebook, do it, do it, do it. Parents, do it because it's great for school projects. Do the $99 laptop for sure. Now, cameras, we all know that's what they want. They have a GoPro for $139. You might want it. Like, I'm saying that's what they want. But y'all know we want some of this stuff, too, if you're grown. And their kids are really into these printers now that you can print your pics from your phone or just print them on the go. So make sure you kind of hint around with this stuff. If you don't know what young people want, younger people, because, I listen, I'm not old, so I'm not putting myself in there with the older people. But at the same time, if you don't know what teenagers want, then definitely ask because they want a lot of stuff that you wouldn't even think of. They definitely want stuff like those mini instant photo printers. That's definitely on their list. So ask them to watch this video with you and just kind of point out some of the stuff. Ask, ask your teenager if I'm right or wrong. Okay, so look at some of these phone deals. A lot of good phone deals. A lot of them you do have to sign up with a plan, but these are still good deals. So if you're willing to get a plan, and some of these are prepaid. So just kind of like, 
you know, go with your needs. I wouldn't splurge on phones on Black Friday because you can at any time, you can get a phone at any time of the year. Now let's get into some more stuff that's really hot. The Xbox One is only going to be $149 for the bundle. This is, that's a good price. And it's coming, it looks like it's coming with a lot of stuff. And if you want to get like a subscription to Xbox Live, that's only $15. Now that's a good price. You cannot beat that. Xbox One bundle, everything. Then the PlayStation bundle, PlayStation 4 is going to be $199. So there's a lot of different bundles that you can choose from. And then they have controllers and games. Everything is looking like it's going to be for the cheap. Videos, movies all kinds of stuff like that 396 for movies as low as 396 and then i'm seeing some movies for 196 that's insane so the deals are going to be ridiculous and that's what it's going to have to be about it's going to have to be about you kind of sitting down with your kids or family members if you can or kind of hinting around at stuff you didn't know because times are changing and a lot of times parents don't even know what's cool right now what kids are into and they are into a lot of stuff so if you have little ones that don't really care when they're under a certain age you can buy them a whole bunch of movies and a couple shirts for two dollars and they are like through the roof some five dollar toys and they're through the roof but teenagers it is really difficult to nail down what they want so just like send them the video and just tell them like yes at which point in this video were you like yes that's what I want put that on my list and that way you'll know exactly what to get and you will not waste your time getting stuff and feeling bad because it was something that they were into last year but they are not into it this year that is the worst feeling so let's move on away from that into some stuff that you're going to need. If you're doing a Christmas tree, then this is a pretty good price. $68 for a Christmas tree. I think that's a pretty good price. And they have some other really decent home furnishings. But where it's really going to be at is for appliances and small appliances at that. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't really need to buy any of this stuff for myself. That's the thing. It's not for you. It's for that person in your life that pretty much doesn't like people to buy them like gifts like clothes and shoes and accessories you can always get them a juicer or instant pot or a foreman grill or a griddle something like that if you know they're cooking or they're into baking you'd actually be surprised at how much someone appreciates a juicer or a portable blender when they actually get into that type of thing or a KitchenAid mixer when they've just started baking okay so Pioneer Woman is going to be on sale $20 for some Pioneer Woman stuff and then there's some meal prep containers that are going to be about $7 and some Rubbermaid. That's a pretty decent deal. I don't really see too much else on this page but if you need this stuff you got to remember it's not all about gift giving it's about preparing your house if you're having guests as well. So I kind of want to put your mind in that gear as well. You don't want to wait till the last minute and then you miss something like this $49 table and then you have extra guests over. Get a $49 table like this on Black Friday. Pop a tablecloth over it and and now you have an extra table for the kids. You got a little kid table. Put the bad kids over there in the corner. Let them eat and mess up that little $49 table by themselves. Now over here we see things like $5 towels, washcloths, $1.60 for some of this stuff. That's a great deal because if you're going to have guests, you're going to need things to look nice. If you can afford it. If you can't afford it, listen, I'm a big advocate for not spending money on things that you can't afford. So some of these things are a little pricey and some of them are great deals. I like the kids' write-ons for $39 and bikes for 44 I think that's a pretty decent deal. We'll have to get into some other Black Friday ads. Let me know in the comments if you like this in-depth look into the Black Friday ad, and I'll do it for another store so that we can be prepared and write down prices and see which store has the best prices. Now, I think this little taller bike for $15 is a great price, and then they have these little scooters and things like that too. Kids are really into that kind of stuff. If you have little ones that can fit on the little $15 ones, I, I would say that's pretty much one of the better prices that you're gonna get for Black Friday. Go for it. $5 toys, depending on where your budget is, and a lot of people don't understand if they've never struggled around the holidays, but they want to give to people. I know it's not about the gifts and stuff, but if you've never struggled and you want to, if your heart is there, it's something you want to do, not that your kids are making you or they're bad, but if you've never struggled, you don't understand how much it makes a parent feel like, oh, well, I wanted to do this, but I can't. Some of these Black Friday prices will allow you to do it even if you have a $20 budget. I'm seeing $5 games, $15 bike. Listen, if you have one kid and they get the bike in a game, that's 20 bucks. 
it didn't break you. And like I was talking about fetch rewards earlier, if you start doing some of these rebates and stuff like that, scanning your grocery receipts, there's an extra $5 right there. Don't stress yourself out. Look for the best deals and get what you can and leave the rest where it is. There will always be another time. But look at these outfits. I love this. These pajama sets for $4.75. That's a good deal, y'all. $4.75 for a two-piece set. And then look over here at the $9 ones. So you have four and you have nine for under $20. They have day and night done done and done and all of it looks so warm and inviting so there's a lot of clothes options for kids there's shoes there's underwear socks slippers you name it five dollars is going to be that price point i love when they put these out for the holidays and i love seeing them go on clearance afterwards too now let's look at some stuff for adults ten dollars over here yes ten dollars these are thermal sets it's cold outside it's getting cold i'm here in florida and it's even getting cold here so thermal sets for ten dollars i might get myself some of these if you know somebody that's into clothes and shoes and they're not bougie like they're not i wear gucci only then these twelve dollar boots would be good for them. I know some of your relatives are like, I only wear Michael Kors, and you know it's knockoff. Come on now, come on Susan, stop playing. But if you have somebody that appreciates everything, I'm one of those people, then go ahead and get them one of those thermal sets. If my sisters are listening, I like the one with the panda. All right guys, we're getting towards the end of the ad and we have some outdoor stuff, good prices on this, but I would wait and see what Dick Sporting Goods or Academy Sports are doing with these kinds of things. Sportsman's Guide is even doing some nice stuff, so we'll see what they're doing. Tires if you need them, but again, this is not the place for those things. All right, OCC gang, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm out. So we still need to give something away, so don't leave just yet because at the end of this, I'm getting into the giveaway, today's giveaway. Okay, but first I wanna tell you about Amazon deals because I don't want you to miss anything. Check it out. You can get these deals that I'm about to show you for discounted prices, but you have to follow some simple, simple rules. When you see the item, you have to add it to your cart. It's going to show regular price in your cart, but then you have to click proceed to checkout and the price will drop. Like on these boots, the price dropped from 33 all the way down to 16. Okay, so that's how the deals work. They'll show one price in the cart, but when you hit the proceed to checkout button, the price will drop. This thou shall not try me shirt is only $7.99. Now here's a huge price drop. This one is only $1.97. This dropped from $9.99 all the way down to $1.97. That's a huge price drop. Also, there are bags that we're looking at, only $12, $12 for the solid and two-tone, and then $16 for the print. So these deals are super hot. Check out these water shoes, only $10. All of the links for this will be down in the description box below. Do not miss these deals. Okay, and these shoes, $13, multiple colors. There's so many colors besides these. And you see it showed one price in the cart, but when we hit proceed to checkout, it dropped all the way down to $13. Now, this one is amazing. There are tons of bags. They're listed for $37. But when you go through my link and you hit proceed to checkout, the price will drop all the way down to $24. Now, here's another deal I'm excited about. This one will show $21 when you put it in your cart. But as soon as you get to the cart, it's going to go all the way down to $15 for these skirts. And they are nice. And they come in multiple colors. And if you just want to pair it with something, this top, same thing. Price will drop all the way down to $15 definitely a great one for a holiday party either or or both now this one i thought would be like a perfect christmas gift because this men's ring is only 14 dollars and this comes from zales so this will be nice wrapped in a nice box and they had several options and almost to the end plus size clothing all the way down to 6.99 the link will be in the description box below at least check it out if you're looking for clothes and last but not least, I want you to check out this futon by Serta. It was $209 and now it's only $99. Bucks. At least take a look at it. It comes in two color options and you might like it. You might need it for the holidays. Now, today's giveaway will be a $25 Walmart gift card. Why not? We've been talking about Walmart. So if you want to win the gift card, all you need to do is comment down below. Just comment down below. What is one thing from this video that you really wish you could get for Christmas that you would put on your Christmas wish list? Whether it's for you or for somebody else, just comment down below. What's one thing from this video that you were looking at and you were like, man, that is something I would love to get on Black Friday. Just let me know and you'll be entered in to win that $25 gift card and I'll announce the winner on tomorrow's video.